They say it's a big rich town. Well, I just come from the poorest part. Legal or illegal, baby, I gotta make it. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Ty. Happy New Year. Y'all know what time it is. It is time for one of my favorite shows, Power. This is actually the show that actually got my channel growing because when I started reviewing this show a few seasons back, that's what got my channel growing. Then, you, of course, I was coming on here sporadically, but when I got my following, my following started from this show. So now tonight is episode 11, and as you all know, this is Power's final season, and this is the 11th episode of the sixth and final season, and we're trying to figure out who shot Ghost. You know, it reminds me of back in the day who shot JR. Some of y'all might be too young to remember that. I'm aging myself. But yeah, who shot Ghost? And it, what they're doing is each episode is going to... Um, each episode is going to be from the perspective of the these final five episodes are going to be from the perspective of the suspects. So I thought that was pretty cool. And you know, it's funny. I had this big intro for this show tonight. I was going to do something different. I was trying this the final season. So I said, you know, let me let me jazz it up. I had my shirt off. You know, I was trying to show the guns and all this because I had made this bet with some people that I could be I was going to be a, you know, working out an old diesel like um 50 cent i thought it was gonna be all in shape but then you know i saw my little arms i was like it wasn't working <laughs> but i had this intro for y'all you know i was coming out all hard i was doing all this the arms was out but they i was i ain't ready for that yeah i ain't ready i was trying to thirst trap i ain't ready for that arms are still not we ain't ready so i had to put my shirt on put some clothes on so i could do this review so anyway like I said, this is episode 11. It's called Still Dre, and it focuses on one of the characters that I hated the most, which was that no good, sneaky, disloyal, evil Dre. And so this was his episode tonight. And it's funny because I'm going to tell you, I, I, my emotions, I was going up and down with this with him because... I don't think there's anybody out here who didn't want him dead as more than I did. And this guy, come on, Dre had nine lives of ten. This guy was always this close to getting finished off and just slipping through. And we saw some of that going on tonight. So now tonight's episode started um, with Dre with his girlfriend and his daughter, um, Heaven. And I had just said... Where is this child's mother? Because remember, we did see her before when they had that little sex scene he had with her and then they tried to kill him that time and he got away. But I always wondered, I said, where was she when the state took the child from Dre the first time? Where was the mother? So this makes me say, uh, Heaven's mother, she must be a little trifling too because why didn't they leave the child with the mother? So anyway... We see her, and she's telling him, listen, we got to get out of here. We should go to London. Not a bad idea. Go to London. And he was like, he didn't want to go. And she said, what about my sister's place in Vegas? And he's like, I'm not going. I got things right where I want things. I got things all lined up, all smooth for me and whatnot. You know, he's thinking he's going to run stuff the right way. So she's like, it's better to live in Vegas than to be in a casket in New York. And I'm like, she's telling the truth, Dre. But you know Dre, Dre stands in his own way. Dre gets in his own way. He's a clown. He gets in his own way. He doesn't know. He's a fool. He just gets in his own way. And we saw that tonight, that he is his own worst enemy because he makes some dumb decisions. So anyway, you know, he's thinking he got it like that. So he's going to set up this whole deal with um his crew and he brings this friend of his along and this this so-called friend of his well yeah that he brings along and i'll tell you why i say that he brings this friend along with him and um he's like um oh yeah you know introduced him to the other guys and as they're doing this negotiating and getting in business which i'm like this is so dumb this is so dumb you you come on really here come the Serbs, because you know what? They think that Dre killed um, 
they think Dre killed Jason. So they're at this little standoff. Everybody got their guns drawn. And the, the guy that came with Dre, his friend or whatever, he kind of set it off because as they're talking, he just... Psh, he starts to shoot, next you know it's the OK Corral, which was a really good scene because now everybody, bullets are flying, people are just dropping, dropping, dropping. And I'm like, oh, this is crazy. But I knew Dre wasn't going to get killed just yet because the episode is called Still Dre and the episode just began. But anyway, so he's like, um, his friend gets, his friend says something really stupid like, oh yeah, I miss this. This what you miss? Getting in shootouts? I know you crazy. But anyway, I ain't about that life, so I couldn't relate to that. So anyway, then the shootout. And um, his friend gets, Dre's friend gets hit. And now Dre seems to be noble, right? And redeemable. He's pulling his friend along. But then Dre does something that makes me hate him, which is why I always hate him. He uses his friend as a human shield. Like, and the guy gets shot up, and Dre gets away. Now we see Dre back home with his baby mother, and he's telling her, she's like, who shot you? She's stupid, too, because she should have just gone back to your sister house, because this guy's a clown. You know, come on, he's going to get you. You know, she should have, I don't know. So anyway, he, um... is she's asking him what happened, and he doesn't want to say, and she's like, listen, I'm sick of this. I'm going to leave with heaven. And he's like, you ain't going nowhere. You're not taking my daughter. And she's like, well, so come with me. She's pleading with him. No, You know, she's like, come with me. So he agrees to do it. So the whole time I'm like, what is he up to? What is he going to do now? And so most of the episode, we see him in a desperate state, so to speak. He goes from, because this fell through this whole deal that he thought he was going to have. And I don't know why he thought this was going to happen anyway, especially with being framed for Jason's murder. How did you think this was going to happen? We see him go to Saks, and he says to Saks, once he realizes that um, Ghost is running for lieutenant governor, he's like, Saks, what happened? I thought this dude was going to be in jail. I did what you told me to do. You better fix this, whatever, whatever. We see him run to Tasha. He's telling Tasha he needs some money or he's going to tell on um, Tariq, another one I don't like. She's, he's going to tell on Tariq and all this other stuff. Then we see him meet up with Tariq and Tariq gives him some money. And then he, Tariq says in exchange, I want a gun. So he said, well, you ain't going to get me the gun till you get me to your father. So now when that happens, we see... Dre meet up with Ghost, and it's like, ah, now it's kind of taking us back to the other episode where Ghost and Dre had that conversation about what the money he needed from Ghost. Now, what was clever in tonight's episode, it was from Dre's perspective. So, when the last episode we saw, and, you know, Ghost was saying what he felt and, like, really dissing people, and they made, made him feel this small... In tonight's episode, that same scene, it didn't seem that way because now we're getting it from Dre's point of view. And Dre felt like he had the upper hand. He was like, yeah, do what I say. Um, bring me that money. You're going to meet me at whatever, whatever with the money. And yeah, I got this. So what happened? He goes um, to... Um, he goes to... Uh, Meet up with, oh, before I go into that, let me go back a little bit. Sorry, y'all. Let me go back. Dre goes to get, when that little incident failed with the drug dealers and all that, Dre goes to his mama. We see him go meet a church lady out there. And, you know, she loved the Lord. He heard her cry. She's super churchy. And I knew something was up with homegirl because you haven't seen your son and God knows how long. And you're like... Oh, you just going to come to me right now where you been? Like when he approached her, at first she thought it was somebody trying to rob her. And she was cold as ice because she, when she saw him, my mother would have been like, son, something. She was like, where you been all this time? I ain't heard nothing from you. And he's like pleading with her. And she's like throwing Bible verses at him. The Lord will make a way somehow. And, you know, she's just super churchy. But she was cold, y'all. She was mad cold. She didn't hug him, nothing. He said he had a daughter. She's like, you want me to believe this? 
Oh, you want money now? You think I'm a fool for this scheme? I ain't giving you no money. This and that. And the third, she threw a Bible verse at him. And, you know, he was hurt. Then, so we got to, so I kind of felt sorry for him. Because I was like, dag, his mother don't love him. His mother, mother's treating him like that. That's why he's a snake. So I was kind of feeling sorry for him. And I was kind of like, oh, Dre. I was kind of rooting for Dre. And I'm like, that's what you know a show has good writing when a character you normally normally don't like, the show will make you like him in this episode because I saw a side of him, the father side of him, you know, how he was with his daughter, how he really loves his daughter. That seems to be the only person he loves and the baby mother a little, a little bit. And I was like, okay, I was kind of rooting for Dre. So then that's when he went to Ghost. And, you know, he had that whole conversation, like I said, he was talking about talking to Ghost about getting money and getting the money and meeting up. And, of course, he thinks, oh, yeah, this is going to be it. And when he does that, Ghost sets him up again. The police arrest him. Now he's back in jail. Now he's in jail this time. And who is in jail? Two-Bit and Spanky. Now, this was a funny scene, too, because... We learned something funny about Two Bit and Spanky. We learned their real names. And uh, Spanky's name, <laughs> I think they said Spotwood. <laughs> and Two Bit's name is Francis. Those are their government names. I thought that was a funny scene because those two always give you comic relief. And we saw the um, detective grilling both of them and trying to see which one she can turn to flip out. And, you know, ain't no no flipping out. You can't get two, pit, two bit to turn on nobody. But Spanky, he kind of snitched out on Tommy. So he was like, okay, what's going to happen in this dynamic? But now Ghost got all his connections. We see Ghost make a phone call to them and tell them to get rid of um, Dre. And they got really close to getting rid of Dre. And, um. He slipped away from their fingers again. They was going to shank him up in that jail. But he made a little scene. And he was able, just in time, he said, went up to that guy that he didn't know. And then right on time, the detective called him out. And he got out again. And you see him and her having this conversation. And she's now desperate. So she's um, coaching him to say, yeah, you saw ghosts kill silver didn't you and he's like he says yeah and he's like she's like and he was like at home she was like you mean the parking garage yeah the parking garage and just, like just feeding him stuff lead him on to get him out so now dre i'm pissed off again he done slipped out again because i thought two bit and uh spanky finally got him i was like they finally got him but no he done slipped from their fingers again and i'm like he's desperate what is he gonna do this is where he messes up, you know. This is what this is what the thing with Dre. So now Dre escapes death again because Two Bit and Spanky was this close to getting him in jail. When he gets out, we see that they're about to take him to a safe house. The the FBI is taking him to a safe house, and he pulls this little stunt. And I knew this was I knew he was going to do something dumb. Instead of letting them take him to a safe house. He makes up this little lie about he has to use the bathroom and he escapes that way from the FBI because he doesn't want to go to a safe house. He wants to handle business his way, which was dumb. It's like Dre has so many opportunities to still be alive, you know, but, you know, OK, so he, he did that. He got away. All right. So Dre goes to Tate, and at first he, you know, Tate is like, listen, you got to get me. You know, he goes to Tate and um, tell him the information he had, and Tate was like, I'll see what I can do for you. So now this was a really powerful scene. We see Dre desperate. His wife is in the car. His girlfriend's in the car, whatever. He goes to. He's been desperate this whole episode because things are falling apart. And he just, <clears throat> he's making bad decisions. He goes back to his mother's house and we see him go in there and he's in the closet and he's stealing jewelry or whatever. Mama wakes up and she's got a gun to her son's face 
And she's like, I knew you would come back here. And she's calling him all kinds of demons. And this is where I felt sorry for him again because his mother, he was saying how you've always called me a demon. You've never loved me. You you know, I stole a candy bar, this, that, and the third. So at the same time, I'm like, dang, that's so messed up how his mother treated him. And she's like, Why, how did I deserve a son like you? She's saying some mean stuff to him. And he's got the gun to her face. Now I'm like... Feeling bad for him, but hating him at the same time because I'm like, dude, you better not shoot your mother. If this punk kills his mother, I'm going to be so pissed off. And I was so glad, so glad because I was like, yo, this dude better not kill his mother. He better not kill his mother. He didn't kill his mother, um, but he told her off, um, made her feel a little bit, a little bad. And, you know, because he took the gun away from her, and, you know, he ended up putting the gun to her face and all that. But, you know, he walked off after he said what he said, and you saw his mama crying. So now he gets back in the car with the jewelry, whatever have you, whatever. Goes back to Tate. Tate makes him an offer telling him, you know, take this money, kill ghosts. He takes the money. Um, that was a, like a, that was a really good scene between him and Tate. So now, here we are. Dre has this money. He should have easily, in my opinion, he should have just taken this money and left. It was no point, but he decides he's going to go to Club Truth. He's going to take Ghost out. He's got his baby in the car. Like, this is a bad decision. He's got his baby in the car. He's got his girlfriend with him. He goes in there as he's going to, you know, because first he was going to pull up, but he's like, you know, I'm going to go. He goes in, and the moment he goes up in Truth, he hears, bang! And he turns around and leave. As he's leaving, there's Detective Blanca. She's like, Dre, he punches her in the face, gets in the car. He's like, we got to go now. So I'm like, okay, he's, he's he's getting away here. You know, so now he's getting the car. They stop at the gas station. First of all, y'all should have took a cab, leave that car behind. Just get the hell out of here. They stop at a gas station. I'm like, the way they did that scene, I'm like, Lord. They about to kill this man at the gas station. I was going up and down. I'm feeling sorry for him again. I'm like, dang, they going to kill Dre. Oh, his baby's dead, his baby mama. And, you know, they did that. He's all happy. Looks like things are going to go his way. He's buying, um, uh, he got soda and he got the little, little doll from the gas station for his daughter, a little plush toy. And he looks up and he sees on the news that ghosts, St. Patrick's has been slain. So he's happy about that. And he's like going back to the car. The baby's smiling at him. And just the way they did that scene, I'm like, yeah, this ain't going to go well. But I'm thinking he's going to get killed. I thought for sure he was going to get killed. I'm like, yeah, he about to get killed. Somebody, Tommy, somebody out there, they about to kill him. Nope. The police get him and arrest him. I was like, dang, now he's going back into jail. So he goes back into jail. We see him, you know, bending over and all this and, you know, taking his clothes off and all this stuff and putting on the uniform. He's back in there two bit. And um, Spanky see him and they're like, oh, yes, Christmas has come early. They ready to get him. He makes a scene which gets him thrown into solitary confinement. So I was like, Damn it, that Dre got away again. So here I go again. Like, damn, he got away again. See, I was going up and down. Like, one minute I wanted him to get away. One minute I wanted him to get caught. It was just, it was a good episode. So now he's in confinement. And you just see towels constantly dropping in his cell. I'm like, oh, they got him now. He's trying to plead and all this stuff. This this was crazy. Oh, let me, let, yeah. He's trying to plead and... Man, they barbecued his ass. They they put them towels in there, put gas on the towels, poured it on him, and well, something flammable poured it on him and burned him alive. I was like, damn, Dre is finally gone, y'all. Dre is finally gone. And I kind of felt bad, like, damn, to go out like that. You should just stay in gin pop and let them take you out, you know, with the knife. That knife ain't so bad than being burned alive. But... The scene that night, tonight, that got me was that final scene with him and his mother before he was killed in jail, where we see his baby and his the girl, the baby's mother speaking to him, and she's like, 
we could have gotten away. She's, you know, you know, you know how women are. Like, I told you so. I told you so. And he's like, yeah, I don't want to hear this right now. And she's like, I had no other choice. I had to go get some help from who? His mother. His mother comes in there and she's talking to him. And she's like, you're where you belong. And she says, don't worry, Dre. Because he's like, Dre, he's like, Ma, you got to get me out of here. I'm, I'm going to die in here, whatever. She's like, well, I came back to help you because it's the Christian thing to do. And I love you because you're my son. And then she, then she threw the shade and she said, but you know, you belong in here. And he said, Ma, um, you know, he was pleading, get me out of here if you can. And she said, don't worry, son. I will make sure that your daughter is raised right. Boom, she took a shot at him. I'm like, dag. So he's no, he know he's a dead man. And like I said, then that's when he had the whole scene where we saw Dre, you know, trying to escape and went to the con solitary confinement and they barbecued his ass. You know, they did a whole barbecue on him and it's like, damn. So he's been, <laughs> he's been killed. That's that. It's over for him. But this whole spanky and two-bit thing, when uh, two bit goes in there to check up on Spanky in the cell, Spanky's out. So he's like, hmm. So two bit, two bit put two and two together. Now he knows that Spanky had the snitch, and he's like, Spanky's the one who snitched on Tommy. So he's like, he called Tommy and told him. So you know what's gonna happen. So in closing, I thought it was a really good episode tonight. Um, Dre is finally dead. I feel bad, but not really. But he got what he deserved. He burned so many people. Now he done been burned. But um, yeah, that's cold, I know. And now we know that he wasn't the one who shot Ghost. So now we got to figure out who shot Ghost. I don't know. I don't know because everybody had a reason to. But I like how this episode played out. I like that whole perspective, his point of view. So now we got to wait. We got four episodes left. Um, I really enjoyed this. Um, tell me what you think below. Shout outs to all my subscribers, my new subscribers. I'll do another video where I'll shout you out personally. Hello to... Um, Simply be yourself 100 love you you asked for this video. Sorry it took me so long to load it up But it's here now and I'm hoping you enjoy it. I'm looking forward to everyone's comments Tell me what you thought about tonight's episode and who do you think shot ghosts, All right? I'm out. Please like comment subscribe hit that notification button and have a good one